You have a choice to make for your customers. You can sell them a product that will require maintenance and uses old technology, or you can sell them a maintenance-free product that takes advantage of the latest materials and engineering. The choice is obvious. By selling a better product that requires less maintenance for the customer, you will gain their future business and trust. So why do some technicians and drivers think a grease fitting is the answer to better suspension components? For some reason, some technicians still believe that older style replacement suspension parts with grease fittings and metal on metal balls and sockets are better than a maintenance free sealed joint with an engineered polymer socket. But judging a joint by a grease fitting or lack of a grease fitting is not an accurate way of evaluating a replacement ball joint or tie rod end. It would be best if you looked inside the joint to understand why OEMs stopped using grease fittings and why these types of joints are not a smart choice for modern cars and trucks. In 1970, an oil change was called an oil and lube service. While the car was up in the air or over a pit, the mechanic would grease the suspension joints. Greasing the joint did two things. First, pumping in any new grease replenished any grease lost to oxidation because of the heat generated by metal-to-metal -metal contact. Second, as grease is pumped into the joint, it flushes out contaminants as well as small pieces of the metal caused by wear to the ball and socket. It could be a messy process. Over the next 50 years, the polymer compounds evolved. Material science engineers were able to formulate polymer compounds that could take hard impacts, resist wear, and withstand high temperatures. Automotive engineers saw a potential application for spherical suspension joints. They realized these polymer materials could be formed into sockets for ball joints. With the correct lubricant and surface finish, these could outlast metal-on-metal -metal joints. At the same time, new rubber material and designs for boots were advancing. These boots kept the grease inside and outside contaminants out. Grease also evolved. Old school chassis grease was often made from oil and natural additives to thicken the final product. Today, average general purpose chassis grease found in grease guns has ingredients like zinc, graphite, and lithium. But the engineered greases inside a sealed joint are much more sophisticated. Sealed joints will use silicone and fluorether based greases with additives like Teflon, molybdenum, and other additives engineered at the molecular level. These synthetic greases can eliminate wear to the metal stud and polymer sockets under extremes of heat, pressure, and other outside forces. Do you still think metal-on-metal -metal joints are better for your customers? Here's something to think about. Extended oil change intervals. For some vehicles, the factory recommended interval is 7,000 to 10,000 miles. If a ball joint or tie rod end is not lubricated during the oil change, it means a joint will have to go 14,000 to 20,000 miles without being greased. The grease could oxidize or leak out of the boot before the next oil change. This could cause the joint to wear out rapidly. With a sealed joint, the driver could go 100,000 miles or more without any maintenance whatsoever. So, even if you are still loyal to greasable joints, some modern suspension designs do not have room for grease fittings. Even if there's an application with a grease fitting, it might require a special adapter to grease the joint. While some aftermarket suppliers still produce greasable joints, OEMs and OEM suppliers like CTR agree that the reality is that sealed ball joints and tie rod ends are the more advanced product that will last longer. Just like the OEMs, CTR uses engineered polymers for its aftermarket joints. These joints have greater durability and longevity when compared to greasable metal-on-metal -metal joints. CTR uses its 50 years of OEM supplier experience to engineer high-quality polymer joints for the modern vehicle. That knowledge of high quality and technology translates into a genuine OEM quality part. CTR has more than 3,000 SKUs to cover domestic, Asian, and European vehicles. CTR's Asian coverage is remarkable and is worth checking out. CTR's catalogs for suspension parts like stabilizer links, control arms, and bushings are constantly being updated, with new applications announced monthly.